Hello, this is a quick screencast to show off-the-record encryption in Converse the JS. On my screen is in the top left corner a browser with the Converse the JS webpage open and I'm logged in as myself. Below that I have the Chromium developer tools open with which I can inspect the sent and received XMPP messages, <coughs> the raw XML called stanzas. And the top right corner I have um, Pigeon where another user is logged in and below that I have Pigeon's XMPP console which also logs the raw XML from the uh, XMPP protocol and uh, the XMPP console is an add-on for Pigeon that needs to be installed separately which I installed and I also installed the off-the-record encryption add-on for Pigeon. So we can start by sending an unencrypted message. I'm going to do more than one thing at a time, it seems. And uh, looking at it here, we see that the message is sent in plain text and it is also received in as plain text. So let's start encrypting our messages. Well. In the chat box here in Converse the JS, you see uh, an open lock with a text unencrypted next to it. And in Pigeon, they prefer the terminology or the words not private. And if I click on unencrypted here in Converse the JS, then I have two options. Um, what's this just links to uh, a web page that explains how OTR works. and start encrypted conversation will start an encrypted conversation so if I click there I get a pop-up that shares, says that uh, my browser needs to generate a private key and this can take many seconds and during which the browser can become unresponsive after the browser has generated the private key it's, it's still busy there it's done it uh, the two chat lines start uh, sending and receiving a, a whole flurry of messages between the two of them to determine the private keys that they are going to use to encrypt their conversations, their messages. That has now happened and um, that is what is the Diffie-Hellman uh, key exchange whereby the two clients agree upon, well they, they, they determine their own private keys and then they exchange it with one another without actually sending the keys over the wire. And uh, now I can send a message. And here I can see the received text is actually encrypted. And uh, here as well, you can see it's the same encrypted cipher text. But of course, what is shown in the client is unencrypted. So the same, sending a message back, again it's encrypted ciphertext that has been transmitted over the wire. But once our chat lines receive it, they decrypt it and display it in the, in the chat line itself. So we see that after we uh, created an encrypted session, the status here has changed from unencrypted to unverified. And it also says here, your messages are now encrypted, but your body's identity has not been verified. Same here in Pigeon. So this means that, yes, we are having an encrypted session, but I am not 100% sure, I cannot be sure yet what the identity is of the person I'm chatting with. They might be an imposter pretending to be Manuela, or they might be, they might be a man in the middle who is... Uh, um, relaying our messages and in, in doing so reading everything that we write to one another. So if I click here there's no more options. Specifically there are two options with regards to verification. Verify of SMP and verify of fingerprints. So I'm going to take the fingerprints one first because uh, that is the m simpler one. Basically what happens it gives you two cryptographic hashes 
um, and you need to contact the other user out of band, in other words, in a, in a different communication medium where you are sure of their identity, and then the two of you need to confirm that these hashes are the same that you both receive from your chat lines. I'm going to click cancel here because I don't want to change the status from unverified to verified. But if you were to, to confirm that the fingerprints were the same for both users, you would click OK and it would then be, you, you could then be sure that both of you are actually chatting with one another. The other option is SMP, which stands for the Socialist Millionaire Protocol. Uh, this is actually a nicer way of exchanging or, or verifying the other person's identity because you can do it without having to leave the chat session or, or communicating with the person outside of the chat session. What happens is you're prompted a security question and you have to then answer that. Sorry. What happens is that you are prompted to provide a security question and an answer to that question. The other user will then receive the same question uh, that you have given and they must provide the same answer. And if the two answers match, you know that the two people are who they say they are. And the neat thing about this again is that the answers are not actually being transmitted over the wire. So the, there's cryptographic uh, functionality uh, or processes happening in the background that matches, that verifies that the two answers are the same without actually transmitting them. So I click OK here and I ask the question. Now that I have given the question and answer, it will be sent to Pigeon and Pigeon prompts now the other user for the answer to the question. They send it and click authenticate and now the Socialist Millionaire Protocol is applied to determine whether the answers given by both users are indeed correct. And now it's determined that it is correct um, and it says that uh, she has been authenticated. So I, as JC, has now, have now authenticated Manuela's identity by asking her a question and therefore the change, the status here has changed to verified. But of course the reverse hasn't happened yet. She hasn't verified my identity, so that's why in her client it still says unverified. And that's how identification verification works. Oh, and uh, chatting still works. And then once I want to end my encrypted conversation, I must click here and say end encrypted conversation and then it's again unencrypted and what happens here in Manuela's client is her status changes to finished and not just back to unencrypted so that she's being made aware that she's not in an encrypted session anymore and that she doesn't inadvertently send a message that she wanted to be encrypted uh, in plain text. So she type something and it says your message was not sent because the, she's still in the state of finished. So she says in private conversation. Now she can type again. And that's it. Thanks for watching.